for today, I'm starting to set my AI 900 certification. We are locked and loaded. So, did I pass? I've been putting this off for months and AI isn't going anywhere. So today I'm finally using one of my Microsoft learning days to study and sit for my AI 900 exam. And isn't this just the best day to do it? I believe understanding the basics of AI is essential in any role, whether you're in tech or trying to break into the space. That's why today I'm studying to sit my AI 900 certification. And actually there are a number of tech companies offering beginner-friendly certifications in order to help you build your foundations and understanding of cloud and AI. I have done a few of these in the past. Having that certification under your belt will also show companies that you are curious, that you're up to date. I found that these learning paths are an accessible way to break into tech, but also to level up in your current role. Dare I say, I might even miss studying a little bit. I'm going to actually see if I can book it in tomorrow morning, which gives me approximately 24 hours to study for it. And also I know myself, and if I don't book it in and have something to work towards, I'm just gonna keep putting it off. Okay, great, there's a 24 hour cancellation policy, which means we can't reschedule, we're doing this. There are no slots in the morning, so we're going to have to do the afternoon. So for Azure AI Fundamentals, 65 minutes. We get an employee discount, so luckily it's free. Submit order. We are locked and loaded. If you're new here, hi, I'm Elasha and I work in cloud growth and sales at Microsoft. It was Uncle Satya that once said, Look, let's not be know-it-alls, let's be learn-it-alls. And in the spirit of learning, we actually get days dedicated to just learn, which means out of offices are on, calendars are cleared, and Microsoft Teams is swapped for Microsoft Learn. So with just over 24 hours to study for this exam, this was my plan of attack. Firstly, to review what was being assessed and the weighting of each topic. For this, I used the study guide that outlines exactly who this exam is for and what is being assessed. This then helped me prioritise my time better, particularly allowing me to allocate more time to the topics I wasn't as confident in. In this case, a lot of generative AI content was new to me and relatively new to the assessment criteria as well. And secondly, I used the official learning paths on Microsoft Learn, which are estimated to take about 10 hours at the suggested pace. But given the time crunch, I was aiming for progress over perfection and made my way through these modules before and after lunch. Hello, it's lunchtime and the brain needs brain food. I'm about two modules in and I'm going a little bit too slow if I'm being completely honest. I'm out of touch with studying so I just find that I'm skipping over things that I think I know but I'm forgetting that the whole point of doing this exam is to make sure that my foundations are solid. I think I might need to pick up the pace a bit but also make sure that I'm understanding some key concepts. After lunch, I jumped back into the Microsoft Learn modules. At this point, I was really trying to pick up the pace while still making sure I was actually understanding things and not just skimming through. I've realized over time that the two ways that I learn best are by explaining things out loud, almost like I'm teaching myself, and by writing things down by hand. Both of these methods are more active ways of learning. Explaining things out loud uses elements of the Feynman technique and it's proven that students who taught material to others retained 90% of it, compared to just 30% when passively reviewing. So it might feel silly, but trust me, it works. And handwriting activates different neural pathways than typing. There's something about putting pen to paper that just makes things click. It's still really gloomy outside and I'd love to go sit in a cafe and finish off the workday with some more studying. It's almost 3 p.m. now, so I feel like that's a good time to take a bit of a break. Hey Google, what's the temperature? 
The temperature in London right now is 17 degrees. No way is it 17 degrees. It's just not. It's freezing. Hey Google, what does it feel like? In London, it feels like 16. No way. I'm freezing. With a much needed change of scenery, I thought I'd try my luck at the practice assessment that's free and available within the Learn page. Honestly, I wasn't feeling too confident at this point and I was quickly humbled by my result. But the great thing about this was the report that was generated after and the customized learning materials that told me exactly what I needed to pay more attention to. And that's exactly what I did. The final resource I used to prepare for the exam was this guy, John Seville on YouTube. He's no stranger to the Microsoft technical community and he creates these incredible crash courses that are fast and focused and somehow make complex topics feel easy. This was the perfect way to wrap up and reinforce many of the concepts that I had spent the day learning. So, did I pass? <sighs> you know, I only had 24 hours to study for it. I wasn't feeling too confident after that practice exam. And silly me didn't do a systems test, i.e. I didn't make sure that my device was working and my desk was cleared, which did throw me off a little. However, I'm happy to report that we passed. So in just over 24 hours, we sat, we studied and we passed our AI 900 certification. To wrap up, I thought I'd share three of my top tips for prepping and prepping fast. My first tip, book the exam in before you feel fully ready. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend only giving yourself 24 hours. I did think that was a little tight, but I do think we'll never be truly fully ready. I think there's always one more module to study, one more video to watch, one more practice exam to take. So think about what works for you and what works within your schedule and set yourself the challenge of working towards that deadline. In my case, the pressure of having it booked in just 24 hours away really helped me lock in and also the cancellation policy. My second tip, don't underestimate the free learning resources. I passed only using free materials and the number one learning resource that I can recommend is the official Microsoft AI learning path. It's broken down into modules that covers everything in a really clear and digestible way. It's literally the syllabus and I went through every module in preparation for the exam. Alongside that, the Microsoft practice exam that's actually on the same page was a game changer. The questions on there gave me a feel for what the exam style questions will be, and it helped me prepare for exactly what to expect. And of course, YouTube. I watched a couple of John Seville's AI 900 cram style videos. So between the official learning path, the practice exams on the Microsoft Learn page, and John Seville's YouTube cram content. I had everything I needed to know, 100% free. And my final tip, don't overthink it. This is a fundamentals exam. So it's really testing whether you have the practical knowledge behind AI. In the context of Microsoft, the exam is testing whether you know certain Microsoft Azure AI services and what they do and where they're used. It's definitely not testing whether you can code a neural network from scratch. You don't need to be a data scientist to sit this exam. If you can answer, what is this service? What is it used for? And would I use it over another service? I think you'd be in a good position to pass. So that's about it. I studied and I passed this foundational certification. So if you've been thinking about learning more about AI, 
do it. Whether it's for a certification or whether you're trying to level up in your career or maybe you're just trying to get a better understanding of what the future of our world might look like, I found AI 900 as a exam a really good place to start. If you're sitting your AI 900 exam, good luck, you got this. Thanks for watching.